I fully recognize that this is a Valentine's Day release and I look straight out of Halloween, but like. So keep me in your side, cause I can do this all night. Hey everyone, it's Nicole from Nicole Loves Nails. Welcome to my channel. So today's video is for a surprise, a little surprise to me. I didn't know this was coming. Release from Orly. This is their Valentine's Day trio. As far as I know, it doesn't have a name. It's just Valentine's Day trio. I did receive these polishes in PR from Orly, but as always, all thoughts and opinions are my own. So before we get into today's video, I do want to mention, if you are new around here, hi there, I am Nicole. It is wonderful to meet you and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Do consider hitting subscribe if you enjoy nail polish related content. I upload new videos every single week featuring a mixture of indie, mainstream, as well as boutique nail polish brands. If you are in fact a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you doing? Just how's, how's everyone's week going? Okay, back to the video. So if you you are new to Orly. Orly is a mainstream brand. Their polishes are in ginormous 18 ml bottles. They are 12 free, cruelty free, as well as being vegan friendly. So I don't know if this is a limited edition release. I'm going to assume that it is. I do know that one of the polishes is a repromote and two of the polishes are brand new to the brand. As far as I know, this collection is only available on the Orly website. I have not yet seen it pop up anywhere else. As per usual, I will have links in the description box where you can purchase this polish. See, obviously the Orly website, <laughs> Orly social media page, Pages, my social media pages, as well as a link to my blog post on nicolosnails.com where I host all of my swatch photos and provide a written review. Down in the description box, we also have timestamps. Let's just get into this video. First up, we have Wink Wink. Orly describes this one as a bubblegum pink creme polish. This one is the Repromote. So Wink Wink had a pretty good formula. It did not feel overly thick or thin. I didn't really have any issues. It did have a tendency to run down the stem of the brush quite a bit. I did not find that that made application difficult, but I did find that I did end up having a little bit more polish on my nail than I initially intended. Polish was just a little bit streaky, not terribly surprising because this one is a lighter color, but this will be a two or three coater depending on application and your nail length. I did still have some light spots in three coats, but once I added top coat, it seemed to smooth everything out and looked really nice. This was not a color that I'd pick out for myself at all. Honestly, I did not like it at all until I added the topper, which you are seeing here, like paired with the topper in this release. Then I really like this one quite a bit paired with the topper. So that is Wink Wink in three coats plus glossy top coat. And now we have the topper, which is called Let's Go Girls. Orly describes this one as a hollow topper with pink and purple confetti glitter. Let's Go Girls had a good, but very thick formula. Like, like she's she's a thick girl. <laughs> this polish has a ton of glitter in it. All the glitter is spread very evenly and easily, but they do dry down very textured and they will also be very top coat hungry. If you use this one in one coat as a topper, I would say you're probably gonna wanna do two coats of top coat to smooth everything out. If you build this one up and say two coats, you're likely gonna wanna use three coats to smooth everything out. I did two coats for my full hand swatches and two coats of top coat, and I still had some texture with this one. If you wanted to reach more opacity, I would highly caution against building this one up in three coats, and I would say probably sponge it on. Because this polish is so thick and the glitters are so textured, if you build this one up in three coats, you're gonna add a lot of bulk to your nail, which is why I only stopped at two. Personally, I think it looks fantastic as a topper, and I loved it built up in two coats as well. And of course, I don't need to tell you, removal for this polish is going to be extremely difficult. Do not scrub this one off. Definitely soak off method or use a peel off base coat because you're going to be in for a bad time if you try to scrub this off. And the final polish is called Sup. Orly describes this one as a pink jelly base with holographic glitter. Sup had a fantastic formula. Because this one is in a jelly base, you really will want to build it up to get the most opacity. Coverage is pretty good in two coats. If you have significantly shorter nails than me, I could definitely see people being good with two coats. However, I personally like the depth of color that you get by adding that third coat. If you have longer nails, you're gonna wanna use that third coat to get more opacity and cover up visible nail line. And visible nail line with this one is pretty minimal, I found in three coats. The holographic glitters in here are super, super tiny and super, super sparkly. So you do not get a lot of texture out on the nail. You will just want some glossy top coat just to make sure everything is nice and smooth. Removal is not going to be super difficult. I wouldn't recommend scrubbing it off, but you could if you wanted to. A super quick comparison of Sup to Zoya's Milana from the Y2K collection from last month. In my opinion, the two polishes are both very different, but I'd love to know what you all think. 
Okay, so final thoughts. I swatched Wink Wink first because I figured that was the color that I was going to be least interested in because, you know, glitter. When I did my full hand swatches, I still had some uneven spots in three coats. I assume because it was a re-promote that it means it had to have been popular at some point. I It was new to me. And I was just kind of like, why is this popular? I don't get it. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Once I added top coat, it seemed to even out pretty okay. But I'm like, okay, I can see why. I can see why people like it. It's a pretty color. I can give them that. When I added Let's Go Girls on top of that, then I was like, okay, okay. I really like that combination. That was really, really pretty. So I really like the trio. I think I like how there's literally something for all, is it everyone? I feel like there's something for most people. Like if you hate glitter, you're probably not gonna love the trio, but I freaking love glitter, so I freaking love this trio. Let's Go Girls is definitely gonna be like my standout top pick. It's glitter, there's there's matte glitter, there's holographic glitter, like it's sparkly and it's pink and I love it, but like all three polishes I genuinely really did enjoy. I will say when I swatched Let's Go Girls, the feeling that I got swatching that one was kind of the feeling that I had hoped to get for the Kelly Marissa collab glitters. I really wanted to love those, like I like them, but I didn't love them as much as I love this one, but like pink, so. <laughs> Surprise! I would love to know what you all thought of this release. Like, are you planning on picking it? Have you already picked it up? Again, as far as I know, it's only available on the Orly website. At the time of recording, each polish is available for $12.50. Again, that's 18 ml, so it's actually a really good price. If you would like to get all three polishes in a bundle, that one is priced at $30. And there are a couple other bundles with like base coat, top coat, etc., etc. So I don't know how long this one's gonna be available for, but you know, it's available right now at the time of recording. Update, I was just reading the website. These are in fact limited edition so they might not be around for too long. Before we end today's video I do want to give a very special shout out to my channel members. Besties thank you all just so much for all your love and support. I love you guys. Your names are all on the screen right now. And we have a members live stream happening this Friday at 6 30 p.m eastern time. So again if you want to join channel memberships I have a link in the description box. Everyone else thank you all so very much for watching today's video. Please do not forget to hit that like button and hit subscribe if you have not yet already and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!